hi welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be reviewing this girl this is Catherine in FT1B Burgundy from Main Concept stay tuned and welcome back okay so today I'm gonna be reviewing um, Catherine in uh, FT1B Burgundy. She's a wig from Main Concept. Um, I'm gonna go over the specs on her card now. Okay, you guys, this is um, RCP785 Catherine. She is part of the red carpet premiere collection from Main Concept. She comes with the Canaclon Futura fiber, so she is heat safe up to a certain hundred degrees. I would do a low setting. And I got her in the color FT1B Burgundy. All right, and so um, here is Catherine. Okay, so she is um, coming off a little shiny on camera. She is also a little shiny in real life. <laughs> but you can see the black, okay, and the burgundy. Now, she does have lace, like I mentioned um, before, but y'all, it is that harder, and it's not hard lace, but it's harder lace. It's got some thickness to it. This is an older unit, so it's to be expected. But uh, I got her anyway because I thought she was cute. So this is what that lace looks like. It is brown and it is kind of thick. A little bit, <clears throat> little bit hard. Um, she does have a parting space, although it's very thin, okay? So you might gonna have to go in here and tweeze some of this, all right? She is a right side part. Um, let's look at the inside of her cap. She has got two combs in the front, one on the left, one on the right. She has a comb in the back. She has those nifty adjustable straps, if I can get them here, okay? And um, the inside of her cap is open wefted which means that you're going to have some more breathability, but that she is, you're going to have to pull the hair through because it's going to go in there. <clears throat> All right. She's long, y'all. She's as long as my, to my armpit almost. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this girl looks like before I cut the lace and then I'll quick run off camera and do that. Okay. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, heavens. Okay, so this is what the lace has given me. It's definitely not a pre-plucked unit or anything like that. It is going to be just basic, your um, lace part uh, right here. Okay. And I think that is going to end up being what she's going to give. So I'm going to cut this lace off and be right back. Okay, I'm back. So all I have done is literally just put this girl on my head. I have not done anything to her. I wanted you to see her before I do anything. Um, she sheds. She sheds pretty good. Okay. Okay. She also feels like there might be some construction issue right here.
Okay, and so here's the style I ended up with. Um, this lace was really super hard to cover, so I cut it as close as I could to the hairline. Then I took some of the hair and I pulled it forward and I cut the tiniest little micro baby hair. I wanted it to, I wanted to make this look more like I had a widow's peak and less uh, like I was trying to manufacture baby hair into it, okay? And then what I did was you saw what I just did. I just zhushed the hair with the baby hair and then just sort of laid it down. And the reason I did that is because um, it gives it some texture and gives it some depth, but it also hides that lace a little better than the makeup was doing. This was layer after layer after layer after layer of, of vanilla and mocha and latte to finally get it to this color. Okay. This is a very difficult lace to cover up. Do I recommend this girl? Let's see. Does she do what she says? Sort of. She actually does because she doesn't show hardly any parting space at all. You can see that. Yeah. So she basically shows almost zero parting space. I got her, I plucked just a tiny bit right here. Not much though, because of the way she's made. You could put a little uh, U in it if you wanted to. I probably won't because I already have hair stubble poking out underneath there. So this is probably how I would wear be how I would wear her. Um, I would probably just tape the sides down. Let's do a spin around here to the right. Here's Catherine in the back. Now, can you see those tracks, ladies? Y'all, can you see them? I, I feel like I can feel them. Maybe I can't but I feel like maybe, and then she does go down, but she tapers down. So she's kind of made to go around like that, I think. Okay. And then here she is on my left. Do I recommend you get her? She was work, y'all. She was work to try and get those, to try and get this lace covered and concealed without losing all of it. She was work. Um, I personally would would not buy this wig again. I'm glad I bought her because I think she's pretty and I think I will be able to find somewhere to wear her. But she's not going to end up being a favorite of mine. She's going to end up being a wear here, a wear there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you want the challenge, if that dark lace doesn't bother you and you don't mind having it be a little bit hard, it's a little bit harder lace. If you don't mind all the shedding she does, if you don't mind um, just that, the fact that this was such a pain in my ass, then you could try to get her and see what you can do with her and see if you can do better than I did. And of course, I think you probably can because again, I'm a lazy wig wearer and I'm kind of a beginner. I still consider myself a beginner because I don't slay wigs. I wear wigs and do what I can with them, okay? So this is, this is again, the end result, what I ended up with. I think I will, I never, I will never be a wig slayer, y'all. I will always be a beginner. But for what it's worth, I don't think that this is too bad. Again, I think with some shaders and tape, you know, you won't even tell that's there. Um, if the wind blows, of course, you can see. But if I had her taped down or, well, nah, this hard lace, I would use tape on it um, just because it's not going to melt. Like, I mean, it, it, it will, but it also won't because there's just... The way this wig is designed, not much lace there. 
I mean, she's a lace front, but she's, that's a glorified lace part. Okay. So, um, especially the way that I had to do this wig to get her lace covered up. I think she's super pretty though. Anyway, that's all I have. Um, this is Catherine. Um, I got her in the color, um, FT1B Burgundy. Uh, if you get her, let me know. Let me know how she works for you because I am just dead curious about, about it. And if you don't get this way, well, it's all right. That's all I have. If there's a wig you'd like me to review, please leave her name um, and information down in the comment section below and I will see what I can do for you. While you're there, please click like, subscribe, and smash the notification button. Bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video, okay? Alright, I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye!